good morning internet how are we doing it is thursday may 3rd and here's another vlog Peace. i've been lost in the mood it's just too soon flying my way over to you a few order of business, a few things, blah, 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 blah. a few things today that I want to talk about. Yesterday during yoga class, I was doing a camel pose. If you guys aren't familiar with camel pose, I'll put a little screenshot of what it looks like. This is one of the master postures of the series. It's just like the ultimate heart opening. Blast all your chakras open and just make you feel so high because it's in such a vulnerable position and it just gets all the blood flowing. It's crazy. It's like one of the most intense postures of the Bikram series. I did it pretty hard yesterday and by hard I mean like I kind of like strained myself pushing really hard and there was a loud pop in my shoulder and at the moment I was like oh my god the, in the moment of it I was like actually quite paranoid because I was like oh shit did I like pop my shoulder out and I kind of just like stayed calm and I went through the rest of the practice and I like fell asleep in Shavasana it was wonderful and then when I got up I was like oh okay my arms are okay now because I, I definitely didn't dislocate it but this morning I'm really feeling like I, don't know, I just really feel like I, I did something that I wasn't supposed to I'm kind of hurting right now and I need to be more gentle on myself I still want to go practice today but it's hurting right now Do you guys have any tips on how to alleviate uh, a popped or just swollen shoulder socket I'm not even sure what it is it's just like I don't have my full range of motion I'm currently heading to Fife which is about 15 minutes away from Tacoma I'm to this place called Identugo and it's to like do my fingerprints and stuff because my friend Zach told me that in order to get pre-checked on TSA like get through the lines faster all you have to do is go to this office and then they'll give you like this identification number after they take your fingerprints and I'm trying to do that because I travel so much and it's it'd be just it'd be so nice just to skip all the lines and this is how the pre-check works I'm just gonna share with you guys the process I go through to make it happen maybe all you travelers out there can get some value from it oh my gosh the poodle dog that's one of the first restaurants that me and Sammy went to Rudy when my mom first met him. So it's always really nostalgic to drive through Fife and the, the Port of Tacoma here. Wow, it's like literally they have a spot just for me right in front, front and center. Beep. TSA pre-check and roll here. 20 minutes later. That was incredibly easy, so painless. That was, I was in and out in like less than 10 minutes. I wasn't allowed to have my camera in there, but I'll just briefly explain to you guys what happened. You just go in there, you make an appointment online at the TSA pre-check. There's like, there's little centers all around whichever city that you live in. Make an appointment, you show up. All they do is take your information, they take your fingerprints, like your thumbprint and all your fingerprints, and then they take your passport information, and then pretty much you get a little receipt. And then in two weeks, you'll have like a KIN number. When you're buying tickets online, you put the KIN number in it, and then you're pre-checked. And the whole concept is that like your identification is like in the system, so they don't have to like double check you when you're at the airport though so this just like saves me so much time it was like $85 so easy my boy TJ What's up, baby? TJ was truly one of my first friends in Tacoma first brothers first brothers yeah when I when I moved to Tacoma and we've had so many memories what was your fondest uh, probably the swing in the um, back of your house that rope swing oh yes and then, and then we had the trail that uh, <laughs> Trail that went down to the beach. Either that or you guys performing for my birthday at my house. Damn, I forgot about that you, one. You, Jamie Helm, Richard Fitzer, and Jay Caldwell, shout out. <sighs> I'll do a little, little screenshot of that. Uh, mine, mine was uh, either the Halo parties at your place Ooh. or when our parents let us drive to Disneyland when we were 17 years old. That was fun when we used to, when we smoked weed and we would put the ash from our wood pipe <laughs> back into back into the bag of, of, of weed so that we didn't waste anything. And TJ didn't know how to drive stick, so instead of like... <laughs> Still don't, of, by the way. Yeah, Still instead, don't. <laughs> instead of uh, teaching him, we switched seats at 80 miles per hour at cruise control. I don't know how we did that, man. Downtown Sacramento. That was the um, best time of my life, honestly. Yeah, that that was, California trip was, was really fun. The best. No shower for like a week. Yeah, we stunk. Sleeping in Denny's parking lot. That shit was crazy, man. So this is TJ's man cave. And last time I came over here, they are just working on this bar. Look at this masterpiece. It's a little dirty right now, but... Uh, a labor of love. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a labor of love. Have you had some massive parties here? Oh yeah. We yeah. do a, So every, every other Wednesday we do a podcast live from the Broken Hammer. Cool! Oh my gosh. Just reached 2,000 subscribers on my YouTube page. Like I got like 150 new subscribers since I released this video yesterday. Thank you guys so much. I'm so appreciative. The YouTube journey is just beginning and I can't wait to see what happens next. 
Right, Wilson and Taylor? Yep. Is yep. the YouTube journey just beginning? Yep. 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 Let's get, let's get, uh... You're ending your vlog? No, no, just for today. Let's get words of wisdom. How old are you again, Taylor? Eight. Eight? Okay, words of wisdom from an eight-year-old. What is the key to living a happy life? Try to think about positive stuff when you're mad. That's good. That's pretty smart for an eight-year-old. What do you think is the key to living a long time? Eat healthy. And what do you think will happen if we don't have world peace? People will die and a lot of our population will be gone. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's true, that's true. How do we achieve world peace? By being nice to people and giving people opportunities. That's good. Taylor, thanks. You're a pretty smart kid. Okay, you can get back to your book now. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard it from the eight-year-old on how to live a long time and achieve world peace. I'll see you guys tomorrow because we gotta wake up and film some more Meet the Neighbors videos. Wilson, do you want to say anything? What? Do you want to say anything? Uh, PUBG sucks. <laughs> what did he say? He said, he said PUBG sucks. All right, guys, subscribe. Thanks for everything. <laughs>